As an actor, it's fun to see what is actually going on in Constantine's mindset, senses, and feelings. Uh, you have to face yourself. It's very hard work. His character is the ultimate survivor. He'd probably survive a nuclear holocaust. We see a man who is under enormous pressure, both personally and then as the season develops, we realize professionally as well. He is a man who is tied to the FSB, MI6 and the 12. He's been throwing all these balls up in the air and now they're all starting to come down on him. His character has been one of the great joys of Killing Eve, but he's always been very much a foil to Villanelle. And now we're beginning to establish him much more as a character in his own right. And we get an insight into his very complicated family life. Comparing to the seasons before where I had to fit in in my business partner's world, suddenly I have some personal issues and it's actually interrupting a lot into his professional work. He's divided between his two daughters, really, Arena and Villanelle. There is the return of Constantine's real daughter. The chemistry that he has with Jodie is incredible and they never met until the read-through for season one. And they were just fantastic together. His relationship with Villanelle is really key. It's one which neither of them can shake off. There is great affection there. They think she always finds herself drawn to Constantine because that is the closest thing that she has to family. We are in a very strong relationship, even maybe stronger than we wanted to be in. That's a big issue for Constantine. How do you deal as a father person and still be professional? I have one of the best wardrobes. Constantine is a very sort of transient character. Whenever you see him, he's nearly always wearing his coat because he's always on the move. He's not worrying about what he wears. He just wants to be on his way out of the door whenever there's an incident. We wanted to portray that Constantine wasn't in this amazingly beautiful location. So it was a space really where he would live there for the moment and then get out of there. Constantine flat, there is really nothing. You don't know he has been there. Kim Bodnia has just brought the character off the page. Kim has got presence, charisma, vulnerability, and depth. His brain is extraordinarily visual and imaginative, so you can talk about something and immediately you can see that he's starting to conjure so many more ideas. He's a very unique actor. He works from feeling. It gives him this remarkable manner in every scene where you literally don't know what he's going to do next. All characters should have that possibility to look at themselves and change themselves because that makes it alive and makes it natural. Otherwise, it would be very boring as a person and as a character.